Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example of how to use the correct deductive reasoning to come up with the correct answer. We're given six points, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and they're all coplanar, so we need to understand what coplanar means. It means they all lie on the same plane. And then we're told that points A, D, and F are collinear, so those three points are on the same line, and also that points B, C, and E are collinear, so B, C, and E are on the same line as well, not necessarily on the same line as A, D, and F. And then we're told that the line drawn through D and F is perpendicular to the line that's drawn through C and E. And finally, they ask us which four points must lie on the same line. So let's start with getting a feel of what this may, what this may look like. So first of all, we'll do step one and realize we have a plane. And on the plane, we have six points. So we can just randomly put the six points on. There's A, there's B, there's C, there's point D, there's point E, and there's point F. So we've now met the first requirement that we have six points and they're all on the same plane, they're coplanar. But then on the next statement, they tell us that A, D, and F are collinear. So let me look at A, D, and F. And so we have point A, we have point D, and we have point F. And so, well, they are on the right plane, but they're not collinear. So I need to redraw my plane and make sure that those three points are indeed collinear. So now we do step two and we'll redraw the plane. But now we make sure that those three points, A, D, and F, are on the same line. So there's A, there's D, there's F, A, D, and F. So we can see that they're clearly on the same line. And then I can put the other points down. So we have A, D, and F. So that leaves us with C, that leaves us with B, and that leaves us with E. And we could put those anywhere because up to now, we still meet the first two requirements. We meet requirement one, that they're all on the same plane. We meet requirement two, that the points A, D, and F are collinear. But now when we read the next, um, the next rule, or the next requirement is that points B, C, and E must be collinear. So now we realize that these three points must be collinear as well, and not necessarily on the same line as A, D, and F. So now let's do requirement three. So let's come up here. And I can see that we're going to still put the first three uh, points. We can take A, D, and F. And we're going to put those on the same line. And then we can see that uh, C, B, and E, that also must be on the same line. So there's C, there's D, uh, not D, but B and E right there. So C, B, and E and we'll put those on the same line as well. So might as well use a solid line that looks a little bit better. There we go, so now we've met requirement one, they're all on the same plane. Requirement two, that A, D, and F are collinear. Requirement three, that B, C, and E are collinear. But now we have another requirement that the line through D and F must be perpendicular to the line through C and E. So D and F, that's this line, that's the same line as here, must be perpendicular to the line that goes through C and E. And you can see that, no, they don't appear to be perpendicular. So that means we're going to have to redraw it again. So here's my plane. And there's my line. A, D, and F. That's all on the same line this way. And so based upon the, what we have here, you can see now that here I'll draw another line. And this would be a right angle like this. So that means that those two are perpendicular. And you can see that this is C, this is B, and this is E right there. All right. And now that I've done that, hmm, now they say which four points must lie on the same line. And when I look at that, I say I meet all the requirements. I met requirement one, that all the points are on the same plane. I've met requirement two, that A, D, and F are collinear. I met the rule that B, C, and E are collinear. And I met the rule that line through D and F must equal the line through C and E. So the line through D and F must equal the line through C and E. 
And I can then conclude that there is no requirement at all that any of the four points must therefore lie on the same line. There's no other rule that forces me to have things on the same line. So I can conclude none of the points must lie, or none, none of the four points, or no four points must lie on the same line. I do not meet this requirement. There's no rules here that make me indicate that there's a requirement that there's four points on a given line. I've met all the requirements and there is no answer in this case. And that's how it's done. That's what we mean by deductive reasoning. And it leads us to the correct answer that there's no such thing as four points which must lie on the same line. And that's how it's done.